Hello, we were thinking about doing it with Hope, speaking about all these different things, but then we decided it could sound a little disingenuous in the war museum, so we decided just... just no, to... I disagree, I think we're still going on. So we're here in the Imperial War Museum. I've never actually been here. Hope was here on a photography trip once. Back in the year 2000 and some would say 12. <laughs> As you'll see here, we have a typewriter. Now, you might be thinking, cool, standard, nice little typewriter. But actually, they've positioned the typewriter in this exhibition next to the model of the ship. So you can see just how ginormous this typewriter would have been. Let's take a closer look. As you'll see here, the letters are in fact the size of small cities. Well, that's no big, that's not, that can't be right, because that's a submarine. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. I'm having some difficulties with my tech team. We're going through a transitional period and clearly this guy is not working out. Let's go back to the real reason why we are here. Hope, don't you think it feels like a holiday walking out because it's just so hot? And it was so cool in there, the air conditioning. Well, that was pretty cool. Well done, you touched the nub in. I'm thinking uh, these things better be disarmed because if I hit that hard enough, will it explode? Right, I'm promising Hope a little treat, maybe lunch or something. Sorry we didn't show you that too much, but it was kind of interesting, but maybe you, you should come if you want to see it. We just came from here, went to there, gave them some money, and in exchange for the money, they've given us all this. I love London. Mm, nuggets are good. Look at what has happened to Hope's room. So that is her bed still, but it's now a filing cabinet. Uh, this is all private stuff, gonna have to blur out all of this. Blur out all of this. Um, her desk was here. And now it's her dad's office. This is Iron Man. Where is it? Chilling. Do you like my hair slipped back? Hope cut this the other day, sorry we didn't film it. I think we might go um, hunting for wedding venues today. We might go to the church Hope likes over in, uh, where? Dogmersfield. Dogmersfield. And then we might go to a barn that we like the look of, but people have to leave by 10 p.m. and that kind of sounds a little too early, but we might have to talk to them and ask whether that's really strict or not. Because um, we're, we're getting into planning now. We finally got our jobs, finally got everything sorted. No. We've just pulled in. I think that is the barn that we're looking at. That's pretty cool. First impressions are very good because that is enormous. Right, we arrived. Had a little river walk. This is our great barn in Lego form. Wow! building and the biggest barn to survive in the UK. The rest of the um, massive estate, this was the biggest estate in England, the rest of the massive estate was torn down by the parliamentarians. Well I like it. it is. We've just left the um, great barn place which I love and I think it's beautiful and it's huge and you could do like a band seating and then you could also do like sofas and games and really nice things but yeah my parents are just now we're driving to the Elberton Hotel which is a beautiful building on the outside um, but it is yeah a hotel wedding and it means that they would set up and do everything and you would have your wildest dreams come true um, but yeah I'm more like I'd love to have a hands-on wedding where I can like do loads of creative stuff but it's true that that is gonna add a lot of stress we're just going to see Adam's never seen the other them, so we're gonna go and have a look. All our friends' weddings have been kind of uh, barns, 
similar to what we were just at. And but not nowhere near as big as that. So that one was giant, and but you, there's a fear that you can't fill that space and it's too big and also it gets quite cold apparently if it's, if it's cold outside. Um, so we're just kind of, I don't really know what I want. I'm in a place of like, I need to see these kind of things before I can decide. I'm, I'm, yeah, we're, we're, we're creative, so we love the idea of creating things and making things our own. And you do feel like you lose that in a hotel. But, but the issue with that place was that you have to be, the music has to be off by 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, that's the main so, thing for me. I don't know. Write us a comment if you agree that that's too early. Like, if we got married at half eleven, wedding over by, I don't know, what, like, half twelve, get there by one, you're eating, you know, two, three onwards. Yeah, but part dancing. of me likes the idea, I don't know whether we could have it at a morning wedding and also have it really late go on until. But you've got I'd to love feed all them of them again. I know, but twice. it's worth it. I would love that. I don't know. Well, I kind of like extending the day as long as we can. This is going to be our wedding car. Give it a little clean. It'll be ready. It's probably quite cheap actually. We've arrived at the Elvertham Hotel. Oh no! Oh no, is it oh, no, shut? Does it just open itself? Is it shut? It's closed because there's a wedding going on ironically. Yeah, you can pay for exclusive. Good morning, Animex Hope. Uh, we just noticed two little squirrel tails having a little bit of fun behind the silver birch. Take it. What are you doing, Mum? I'm finding some implement to wet Adam. <laughs> to wet Adam? Yeah. They're basically bullying him. Yeah. Wait for me, I'm following you. This is really mean, I'm sorry, Adam. Hope, come in. Oh, you can go this window and I can do something. No, I'll just film that of yours. Oh, I wanted to film. 